All right, YouTube, gonna make another real quick vid before my battery goes dead. Um, I'm using uh, what I think is a seventh order bandpass, 0.18 sealed, firing into a 0.7 ported. It's firing into a four cubic foot ported. I'm using a old Sony 502, bridged at 120 watts. Okay, I'm going to be playing 39 hertz, which is way lower than either one of the porting frequencies in this box. Okay. Yeah, turn lab, give it a quick burp here, and see what she does. Okay, at sub 40 hertz, this was a 39 hertz tone, it's 128.2. And this is what's inside that box. A five and a quarter inch bookshelf speaker, four ohm driver, Nothing special. It, it's, it's doing something weird that I didn't expect. It is picking up dramatically in the low frequencies. And it, it just shouldn't be doing that. I mean, neither one of those boxes are ported anywhere near 40 hertz. This front box here should probably be ported in the, oh, I'd say, 70 hertz range. And the big box is ported at around 59 to 60 right now. So I'm going to give it a quick burp here with the door open. Mind you, this is 39 hertz on a five and a quarter. I don't know how well the mic on the camera will pick it up. But uh, we'll see if we can get any uh, air movement from those white things on the seat. Let's see if the seat moving. Okay. With the door open. Score jumped up to 130. Just strange. I didn't expect this out of what I I guess is a seventh order. I found it on Google search one time and it was in a different language, so I couldn't figure out what it was saying. Um I'm a little hesitant of putting more power on it, because I don't know what the two different tuned boxes would do to the little cone inside that sealed box. Now I know what you're saying, not legal, yeah I, I get that, this is just a like a, an experiment, a proof of concept deal. I could actually rebuild and make it legal for my class, but uh, it's just something to mess with right now. now I'm going to bring it up to 40 hertz, and we'll see if we can get a slightly better score sealed. Reset the term lab real quick, and apparently drop my remote. It just surprised me that a single five and a quarter could be doing, you know, upper 28s, or well, lower 28s below 40 hertz. Give me another quick burp here. Hundred and twenty-eight seven now. Single five and a quarter at 40 hertz. Now, now, you know, I mean, it's a bookshelf speaker. It's not even a sub. It's a full-range driver. I'm just curious on what a, a real, like, five-and-a-quarter-inch sub, if they actually make them, would be like in there. Huh. Now, just thought, uh, thought I'd put this on YouTube, because I found it interesting that it's completely going the reverse of what I expected. Thanks for watching.